Hi, Noel. Hi, how are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Did I read that you uh, are you living in Nashville now? I am living here in Nashville. Oh, that's just right and down the road from us. Yeah, I know. I know. I've spent some time in Louisville. A lot of eating has gone down in Louisville for me. <laughs> Have you always lived there? Or did you just move there recently? I moved here a year and a half ago, actually. From LA. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's is, is, yeah, it, it, is it, it a big change? You know what? It is. I mean, it is and it isn't. I had friends when I came here, so it made it a lot easier for the transition. And it just kind of seemed like I was supposed to be here. Like my house fell in my lap about 10 days after I started looking, which I hear rarely ever happens. And, you know, I just I kind of fell in love with the city very quickly. Yeah. Um, so it's been it's been really fun. I think I I was fortunate enough to have really good friends that lived here, and you know it made it easier to meet more people. But Nashville is just so laid back. You know, it, it, it's really really easy to kind of I think find your 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 footing really quickly. At right. least that's been my my experience so far. Of course, having the infrastructure there, uh, being a musician, uh, has got to be extra helpful on top of it. Oh yeah, definitely inspiring for sure. There's so many amazing people. You know, it's, uh, I, I think I've gone to more concerts in the last year than I had in the majority of my living in L.A. Yeah. <laughs> do you um, <laughs> do you get the chance? To, I, I mean, uh, I can't imagine you have too much free time on your hands outside of Fitz, but uh, do you get the chance to do, like, extra session work or, or guest work with people down there? Yeah, you know what? I try to do more, like, writing sessions with different people. Um it's it's been interesting because it's funny enough a lot of the stuff that I've been doing has been working more with overseas artists. I don't know they they've been calling me more recently, um, but yeah, it's just like getting in with friends that have been writing. It's been a really cool experience, just kind of learning a different technique as well. You know, because a lot of the the songwriters that I do know are very influenced and and driven in writing country music, but they also do a lot of pop as, as well. So I've learned a lot of little tricks from them and just storytelling that, you know, I'm now implementing into my new works um, and working with different artists. That's so cool. Uh, just being part of that community, uh, you know, where it's always pushing creativity forward. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Now, how does that work with uh, the long distance relationship uh, with, with Fitz and the band? I I think it's pretty easy now. At this, at this point, we've been together for so long that we don't have to live in the same city in order to, you know, create with each other. You know, you don't have the same luxury as running across the way and, you know, going over to Fitz's house like I used to because we used to live in the same neighborhood uh, for, for, you know, the beginning of the band. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot easier, I think, in now just sending things, sending ideas over. Um, our focus at this point has just really been on this new record um, and, you know, trying to expand the, the listener and the audience to what we've done, not just historically with what we're doing now as well. Um, so we've been really focused on that and the promotion and, and gearing up with more radio support and all of these things. So that's that's been mostly what we've been dealing with, you know, and then in the spare time that we do have just trying to create as much as we possibly can, you know, not just with the band, but with other, you know, other artists that are giving us the opportunities to, you know, work with them. And, you know, it's just, it's been this really cool kind of, like, I would say growing stage for us, mm -hmm. you know, um, I don't think we were sure exactly how it was going to work when I moved. because it's like me and Fitz sing together. But it, it worked out pretty well. You know, we had to do the majority of this, this new record that way because I moved right in the middle of the process. Yeah. You, you were talking about the album here a few minutes ago uh, and kind of broadening it and everything. It does sound like you're like upping the ante on the party. It's, you know, I guess you guys have always been a party band, but this sounds even <laughs> more. And, you know, what were the conversations going into it that you were kind of mentioning? I mean, was it specific? Like, we need to take it, I don't know, stylistically in this direction or, or production wise? It's always been that way. You know, it's, we've always pushed each other to do more to see where we can take our sound and, you know, where we could more experiment and, and, and grow. This record was a bit difficult because we, you know, I think on the last record, I'll give you an example with uh, More Than Just a Dream, we created that record so quickly. You know, we were off this two and a half year high of touring 
it said I just were so jazzed up that I I think we maybe took two days off of our our month long you know stint that we had in in time and we just started writing and the songs came so quickly and you know we had this vision in our head of you know these anthemic choruses and people singing along and all of these different you know wonderful things that were inspired by our audience after coming off of those tours. And um, this this time around, I think we decided we needed to take a break, you know, like we had given ourselves a moment to really breathe. We had gone from one record to the next to touring, you know, for almost two and a half years after that. And it, we just got burned, you know, mm-hmm. and people wanted to focus on the families and buying homes and having babies and doing all of these different things. You know, so when it came around the time that we were going to start working on this record, I think Fitz and I were kind of both looked at each other like, wow, what are we going to talk about next? You know, because at some point it really has to come from you. It, it, it can't just be everything on the exterior inspiring your songs. And what we found is that we kind of hit a point of writer's block creatively. Like we couldn't figure out what moved us. You know, we had written so many songs and, you know, they were being, amazing, you know, for like two or three days. And then we go back and we're like, that's not it. You know, so it got to the point where, you know, it was kind of like an ego check, you know, it's not going to be as easy as it was on the last record or, you know, even the record prior, this is going to take a lot, a lot of work. And you got to decide what we're going to sing about, you know, and you can't force that. So we took a lot more time with this album than, you know, we had ever experienced before and then found ourselves in a place where we wanted to, you know, kind of bring in outside people to see if they could maybe help, you know, kind of stimulate what seemed to be dying, you know, and uh, trying to keep our egos in check and not feel so defeated, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, So I, you know, I ended up coming to Nashville and just basically, you know, wrote on my own here, sent ideas, since did the same, you know, I was like, let's get in with other people. I'll do the same and see what happens. And, you know, one day I get a phone call from Fitz. He's like, I'm sending you this track you just wrote. And I want to see what you think about it. And the lyrics weren't completely there and stuff. So he sent it over and it was hand clap. And I was like, oh, this is, you know, this is really cool. This is really different. You know, this is really different for us. I, you know, uh, me thinking more in the way of always kind of trying to figure out if we're not, you know, stepping out of ourselves where we could never go back, you know, or mm-hmm. never or lose ourselves, you know, because you're going too forward, you know, people got to get it. Mm-hmm. And that was the first thing that, I, that hit me is like, oh, is this really us? And what are, what are we doing here? And then when I finally got my hands on it, you know, started tinkering with the ideas. And then I went to LA and recorded the vocals on the track. And it was just this natural thing that happened. We were super excited in the studio. Everything flowed from there. And I think, you know, had it not been for the, you know, kind of separation and allowing ourselves the time and, you know, checking the egos at the door and saying, hey, we may need some help with this. I don't think we we would have gotten the record done. You know, I think we'd still be writing it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it, that song yeah. uh, specifically is the definition of earworm. So, you know, what you guys did <laughs> is pretty fantastic. Well, I, I appreciate the Thanks. catching up and everything. And, and as I'm, you know, signing off here, I uh, also want to tell you how much I appreciate um, the conversations you have going on on your Twitter and everything. Uh, been keeping oh, up with you. a lot of that, what you post. Did you watch the uh, the final address last night? Did, were you able to catch I it? I did. I did. That was beautiful. I did. I it caught it last night. It was amazing, you know. I, I think he said a lot of important things to us, you know, as communities and as Americans is that we do dictate where we're going to go. Mm-hmm. You know, I think a, a lot of people do have valid fears and valid concerns on both and all areas, you know. And I think if we just start speaking to each other and stop yelling at each other, we're going to, you know, have way more progress, you yeah. know. And I, I strongly believe that there are leaders that are – representing us that represent all of us and you know not just the chosen few and i feel like they're going to you know make their voices heard and they're going to get things done you know i i think i think you know we just have to see what you know donald trump does and we have to hold ourselves accountable as well so yeah. i i i really loved everything he said yeah, there's a there's a line on your your new record that I'll take out of context, but I kept thinking of it as I was prepping for this and watching that. But uh, where you all say it's complicated, but we can make it. Yeah. 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 yeah that was it. Just uh, just it was like okay, I can get behind that because it, it is it's complicated, but we can make it. Yeah. So. Absolutely. 
Well, thank, well, thank you, you so, so much. much. Yeah, yeah, it was great talking to you. And uh, if you're ever up here in Louisville, swing by the station. Will do. Thank you. All right. Bye. All right. Bye.